signs. Uh, let's see what are the messages. Uh, so we have Virgo, Capricorn and Taurus. So I'm going to start with Virgo. So let's see how the next seven days will be like and I will do the uh, do Taurus and uh, Capricorn after that. So let's see what are the messages for you. What can I say? What are the messages right now? Next seven days, how are they going to look like? I can see the sun there. It's beautiful. It's a new day. That's a message I get. Sorry, I'm just going to have some medicine. <coughs> because I've been talking a lot doing videos and my voice gives up. Yeah. Let's see. I can see burden here. I can see burden here carrying some kind of burden. But I see more at like a hard work. You know, next seven days is about hard work. But hard work will pay is a beautiful thing that I get. <coughs> Sorry, most of the cards today I'm getting authority, you know, being in the position of authority, wanting to be in the position of authority and, uh, you know, some kind of influencing, stabilizing factor in your life, like a father figure in your life next seven days will help you. Somebody will help you make to make a decision. Somebody older, somebody wiser with more experience. Number four is stability. They'll bring stability in your life. In the next seven days, I mean, this is authority, definitely. This is total authority, you know, somebody uh, who can uh, tell you what to do, you know, next seven days. It's like, it's not that you have a choice that you want to listen to them or not. I, the moment I said choice is here. So you might have a choice, but you might look up to this person to uh, tell you to make the right decision. The moment I said choice, I could see two things. So it's like you're also deliberating. This is almost like a deliberation happening. Which one should I take? Which one should I let go? So probably you'll turn to someone to ask, you know, that uh, what is better for me and um, which one should I hold on to? So you've got a lot of K's in your life. I don't know what K is. Key to something or K is important. K is, you've got a lot of king of wands, king of, uh, you know, uh, this is a knight of wands and the emperor. <coughs> Sorry. So um, a lot of uh, somebody holding, you know, everybody is holding something. So it's like almost... Uh, holding the key to something you know probably your prosperity somebody has the key or somebody can tell you the way what to do it's like almost you know they are ruling uh, ruling and they know what uh, you, you should do you know and you will turn to them and they're going to bring you some good news about uh, you know make you help help you make a good decision and this is about important letter important piece of information probably through them or probably through someone coming in pretty soon I also get a good catch. I don't know what it is. It's a job or whatever, but it's a good catch, whatever it is. Uh, also looking, I also feel uh, looking for some kind of a support. You're looking for some kind of a support for in the next seven days. But definitely some important news coming towards you, though not really quick. But yeah, within seven days, not like in a few hours. But an important piece of information, you know, probably from an authority figure, probably uh, you did uh, send papers somewhere and you wanted a stamp. I get a stamp, you know, I can see a stamp in my uh, vision, you know, in my eyes, in my head. So it's like almost uh, waiting for a, somebody to put a stamp on something is a stamp of approval. I don't know what it means to you, but some kind of stamp that you're waiting for, for the other person. This is the fifth You've got kings and queens. Your parents are very important. So when I said the information or whatever the news might not be fast, here's the card. It will be fast. Maybe you will get it sooner than you thought because I think uh, frustrations are mounting up. Uh, you've been doing a lot of hard work, carrying a lot of sticks. What is it with sticks? Do you do gardening or is it a branch? You're branching out. You're holding on to something very tightly. I also feel you do not want to let go of something. You know, when you hold um, something like really close to your heart and you've got a tight grip, look at the grips everywhere. You know, you do not want to let go of it. The grips are there. So what are you holding on to? It could be uh, the last, uh, you know, a lot of times you're holding on to, um, to a boat or a twig in the sea to save yourselves or to keep yourselves afloat. Is that your last chance? Is that your only chance? I get only hope. Those are all the messages that I'm getting, guys, with you. But definitely, you know, holding it so tightly and close to your heart is what I get. Let's see what other things that I get. So basically an earth reading and a lot of swords, a lot of air energy, a lot of fire energy for you. Uh, I mean, a lot, lot of like parents' influence coming in or somebody who's older than you or, you know, like a friend coming in probably you'll be turning to them but they're definitely moving towards you for support and somebody is actually bringing you uh, this is um, uh, some kind of a news that's important for you and uh, this is 
a speedy situation or or you know or finish or probably you know you're going to finish something very soon or it's you're very eager to finish something you know probably a project or but just you know you are you do not want to spend time on it you know and you're wanting to finish it because you're scared that will move out of your grip is it you scared that you know you'll have to let go of it or you know you lose the grip on it what does it really mean you know if you're a if you are Virgo, do let me know what you really, you know, in a situation with situation you are in. But I would say hold on because you're already doing that. You know, you will not let go of that grip is what I get. Let's see what are the love messages. But there's a lot of K for you. I don't know, K is, it could be your name or could be somebody you're dealing with or name of a company. But definitely I got a key. I also got, you know, a, uh, uh, your name begins with K or something to do with K, three Ks you've got here. Maybe three is also an important number, three times K, you know, three times more powerful something's going to happen or faster. I want to make it work. So somebody's coming towards you to make it work. They're coming, uh, probably um, a call or communication from them is coming in very soon. They want to give your relationship another chance because it's uh, both the messages are pretty pretty similar to each other they want to make it work because they want to give the relationship another chance you understand me so well that's self-explanatory that the, that you understand the person very well and you connect you connect at a very good level the connections are very good and you are my twin flame no wonder the connections are very good because you are the twin because there is a twin flame so is it like two i got the num i got three but uh, it could be, you know, a two for a twin flame could be a third party situation before, but that's gone. So basically two people really wanting to make it work. Maybe your twin flame wants to work, work uh, give the relationship another chance and work it out. This is nice. Something is coming towards you very fast. Are you going to make a decision very fast? Maybe that's why you need uh, somebody older than you, wiser than you to take the decision. So that was for Virgo. Let's move on to the next earth sign. Let's do uh, Capricorn now. I'm going to keep it here. Let's see Capricorn, what are the messages? So I've done most of the signs. Only these, uh, the earth signs were left. Next seven days. Next seven days. Give me a message. Next seven days. I hope somebody is not treating you like a puppet because I almost could see strings, you know, and telling you and you're almost dancing to their tunes. Are you listening to someone too much? But I just got that you're listening to someone. Listening to someone. Don't dance to somebody's tunes. Four, five, six, seven. Swords are a lot of swords there. Though this one, you could be dealing with an air sign. Air sign has been troubling you. You've cut off an air sign from your life. Air sign has been troubling you. They made you do this. You've been not sleeping. Air sign has troubled you quite a lot. That's what I feel. I mean, the situation is not ending. It's going on and on and on. And you're not acting like, you know, impulsively. And it's about a friend, you know. Is it about a friend? Is it about a friend making you do this? And you do worry about a friend. They've probably hurt you. You've been listening to a lot of people. Victory will be yours, but you'll have to pay a price for it. I don't know what it means. I mean, probably you have to give up something if you uh, want to win in the situation is what I get. But something has been um, worrying you. Somebody has been uh, troubling you. I get the word trouble, you know. I mean, this is, you've got to let go of emotions, you know. This is more practical, will be more practical when you're making a decision. Have the courage to make the decision. That's what I feel. It's a critical situation that's building up. I mean, it's there's going to be a delay if you were dealing with this situation. It's not that, you know, you're going to snap your fingers or you're going to, you know, um, you have a wand and a miracle will happen and things will be okay. I feel you need to settle something with someone, you know. Somebody has really made you feel like this and you've had a lot of sleepless nights wondering how to, um, what to do with the situation or how to make it better. But definitely you can't be impulsive in this situation. You've got to keep your 
head on the shoulders and you got to listen to people and then do something about the situation i also feel somebody left you weeping alone or you left crying i mean somebody went away and you were left crying but i feel new love i feel new love coming in your life next 7 days could be longer but i feel new love coming in pretty soon mm. you wanted to do something about the situation but uh, probably i mean it it won't be 100% right is what i get you know so maybe that's why the hollow victory i mean it, you will try to uh, maintain peace here but maintain whatever or you wish that could go back to what it was but i don't think you know it will happen like that the capricorn to listen to people and um, they might help you make a decision take a decision i also feel uh, somebody bringing you love if you were worrying and were not happy they're going to take care of you if you've not been feeling well also get something you know somebody's not been feeling well so they're going to come and take care of you they're going to wish you well and they're getting medicines for you is the message that i get if you've not been feeling well they're getting medicines for you that's really sweet you mean the world to me because they would really want to take care of you you are my twin flame so you are dealing with the twin flame energy here and they mirror what you feel i mean you both mirror each other's emotions sorry i did not mean to hurt you so maybe whoever remember i said somebody has hurt you is giving you sleepless nights did they run away i'm not run away doesn't really mean you know literally run away but you know suddenly they moved out of your life without an explanation i get no explanations were given i like you the way you are the person is saying so this is a general reading remember they could be stand alone messages i miss you too so probably they went away they left you alone they realized what they did and now they're trying to come back slowly i mean working their way around you because they want to give this relationship another chance be that that may be a story could be a stand alone message i'm serious about you because they want to they miss you and they want to give this relationship a chance i think somebody made a huge mistake by leaving you or just left you alone at a time of crisis or something you know and you had to fend for yourself and probably i also feel that somebody else came in your life to make you feel better you know that's what i feel and the other person did uh, realize their mistake when they left you i mean your worth so they are trying to come back in that's another message that i get so those were the messages capricorn and uh, let's move on to the last one taurus so if you're a taurian here's your reading here are the messages Seven, seven days. Next seven days. What can I tell you? Next seven days. I want to take this card. It almost came in my hand. Not leaving the situation. Not walking away. Trying to be wise. Coming back to the person. Coming back to address the problem instead of running away. Yes, you will serve justice in this situation. You will. You will get justice in this situation. You're going to. You're not going to run away from someone. You're not going to walk away from someone. Your work is not finished. You still need to mend the relationship. uh the situation is not going to change next 7 days you got to take a decision quick to stay or to go is what i get i also get new job i also get promotion i get money from a promotion i get increment i get incremental uh, you know money increase um i do not get extreme like too much money uh, you know increase like many folds but i certainly get you know your money situation improving um i feel this situation is going to pass where you were feeling uh you know since october you were not really feeling good but i really uh, really think that uh, probably whatever is gone is gone ended has ended i mean this is uh, probably you walked away or you came back i also get that but of course you'll get justice in the situation the, there was a decision between two people was it a decision between two people i get a very different reading here torians there is an ending to a situation when the ending to the situation happens then will the wheel of fortune move probably it's a job that you wanted to end you know you wanted to walk away but you did not walk away sometimes you know it's like putting in your resignation but you took the resignation back or you told someone that i'll leave you but you went back you know this is this is trying to be wiser going back to address the situation if it can can be saved definitely justice coming you know your way also feeling you wanting to balance situations you know maybe two is also that balancing two things together are you keeping two jobs a hobby and a job or two people you know you have to balance two things 
and that's becoming really hard for you i get a burden i also get the word burden it's really hard tough i get the word tough it's tough on you but you got to make a choice you know at the end you got to you got to be um, fair to people i get the word mistreat you cannot mistreat someone or you know the situation is mistreating someone let's see what are the love messages you make me a better person so you know they make you a better person maybe that's why you're going back to them you know that's why you do not walk, walk uh, you know walk away i want to take a break to think so basically these are all uh, standalone messages or a story because this is a gen reading i want to take a break to think i miss you too you understand me so well no it's not working this way so maybe that's why they want a break to think about it and they want to make adjustments and come back so that's why probably they walked away or you walked away and you wanted to make adjustments i want to see you again i think somebody left and then came back you know it's like you almost walked away then you know thinking there's nothing here but then you walked back into some some you know back back into that same place This is definitely you coming back. You're going, you're going back somewhere. You know, probably it could be a job that you left or, uh, but you like, oh, I did just resign. You know, I didn't want to, but here it is. You know, I want, I want to work more or I want to work here and I do not want to leave. I think I made a wrong decision. I feel somebody made a wrong decision and then uh, trying to mend it, going back to mend it because that would be the best thing to do. But also remember this is a general reading so if you did write like my reading do comment below do leave a message and i'll be back with another readings thank you so much guys see you soon bye